Hey guys, today we're going to look at question 1j, the last part of question 1 of the 2017 MAT exam. We are shown five different integrals and we need to determine which one has the largest value. So let's jump into the question. Okay, these are the five integrals given in the question. Our strategy is going to be trying to bound these integrals to find the largest one. So if we start with the first integral, we see that x squared minus 4 in the range between 0 and 2, this is always going to be negative. It's always going to be less than or equal to 0. And sine to the power of 8, that's always between 0 and 1. So a negative multiplied by a positive, that's still going to be negative. So we can work out that this integral is always going to be less than or equal to 0. Okay, now let's look at e. It's a similar story. Sine cubed of x is between minus 1 and 1. So if we subtract 1, this is always going to be less than or equal to 0. So we know this bracket here is less than or equal to 0. And by multiplying by 108, that's still going to be negative. So we can deduce that this integral is also less than or equal to 0. Now let's look at integral c. This is a bit simpler. Sine to the power of 100, that's always between 0 and 1. So we can bound this above by 1. And if we integrate 1 between the range of 0 and pi, we're just going to get pi. So we know that this integral is less than or equal to pi. Now let's look at b. It's a bit trickier. Cosine of x is between minus 1 and 1. So 2 plus cosine of x is less than or equal to 3. So we know in here, this is less than or equal to 3. But if we cube it, then this expression right here is going to be less than or equal to 27, because that's 3 cubed. And if we integrate 27 between 0 and 2 pi, we'll get 27 times 2 pi, which is 54 pi. So we know that this integral is less than or equal to 54 pi. Now for our final integral, we want to bound this below. Sine of x is between minus 1 and 1. So 3 minus sine of x is always greater than or equal to 2. 2 to the power of 6 is simply 64. And if we integrate 64 in the range between 0 and pi, we'll get 64 pi. So we know this integral is always greater than or equal to 64 pi. So obviously this integral here is larger than every other one. So our answer is going to be d. So if we go back to the question, we see that the integral with the largest value is d.